Sheldon, uh, talking with William about that 10-minute stretch in the first period, the physicality inside the offensive zone, did that set the tempo for what you'd hope they would establish for the rest of the game? Oh, I think just a good, tidy, clean start was, was important. You know, uh, just that we weren't, we weren't giving up much and allowing ourselves to settle into the game and uh, make sure the game didn't get away on us. We wanted to have a real patient, uh, smart approach today into the game. Uh, you know, I think our four check was good, um, and that's you know being physical and getting on top of the puck is a, is a part of that. So it was a nice, tidy, clean game for us, and the start really set us up for that. Sheldon, how important confidence-wise do you think was it for your team when they maybe lost their cool a little bit in the third period and the floodgates opened? Is that something you could take forward into the next game? I don't think so. I don't. I don't think you you read too much into it. I mean, they're still very much in control of the series and. Um, I don't think anything that happened today really is going to affect the next game. We gotta, we gotta just be happy that we're we're going to be able to come into the rink and prepare for a practice tomorrow and prepare for another game. Uh, they're going to be a lot better. Certainly, would expect them to be at their best next time out. So, we just got to keep getting better ourselves. Your thoughts on the uh, Bowie hit on Kapanen in the third period? Yeah, I mean, it didn't look didn't look good. I haven't watched the back yet, but didn't look good watching it there. And you know, Cappy wasn't able to return for us, so we'll. Uh, you know, we'll see how he is tomorrow and kind of, kind of take it from there. You you never really like to see any of those kind of hits happen. We had one, that, you know, they're, they're not similar, but we had a hit last last series and lost a guy, a big, you know, yeah, good player for us. So hopefully Cappy's going to be all right. Um, to get Willie going and to get the offense going, how rewarding is that? And is that maybe something you take through to the next game? Yeah, we hope so. You know, hope you know, getting Willie rolling, getting some confidence. Uh, you know, and he shot the puck a lot today, and they found the net, uh, so that was important. Um, you know, part of the reason we we went with 11, uh, 11 forwards and seven D today was to open up a little more opportunity for some of our better players to get more ice time, and Willie was really the main benefactor of that, and taking a lot of the extra shifts, double shifting a lot of the time, and I thought he really came to life. And obviously, you know, we needed that today, so we asked our and we asked guys to step up and, and have a big response and get us rolling in the series, and really responded in a big way today. You just touched on it there, going with 7D. Was that coach's decision to bring in Victor Louv and, and, and uh, Gauthier for the guys that got scratched, or is, what did you like about that sort of dynamic? Well, it just with the defense, we wanted to get Victor Louv in for sure. We, we talked a lot about who it was that was going to come out, and there were no easy answers for us. We liked it. We, it all the guys that we had thought they all have something to offer our group, so we thought we could uh, spread the minutes around a little bit better with seven and use the different skill sets that they have. Um, and then, as a result, you, you got to lose a forward, but we were intrigued by that because we thought, as I mentioned, I thought we could get more ice time to other people. That could really, really help us. So, you know, we had to find some people to come out. We wanted to get Freddie in. Uh, just, again, you know, we thought we needed to play a real smart, patient, kind of mistake-free game and uh, Freddie, you know, does that pretty well, pretty efficiently. So getting him, him, him in was important. So had to pull some guys out. Uh, Peters had uh, had played well in the first three games, and you scored three goals on one timers. So was it a conscious effort to get him moving laterally? You know, a veteran goalie like him. Well, we've been talking about that all series, and we've had a number of those shots in, in each of the games. They, they just haven't gone in, in in the previous games. So. You know, a little bit, uh, a little bit of luck falls our way here. It hasn't so much in, in the previous games. Obviously, the last game we play, you, know, you look at it, you give, you give up three goals on three consecutive shots. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. And you know, five goals on seven shots, and game runs away. There's not a whole lot of luck going our way. Game two, very similar. You know, we're up 19-5 in shots and down 2-1 uh, out in Hershey. So. So we need the luck to go our way today. In order to do that, you got to play better. You want luck, you want the bounces to go away. You got to play better. I thought we played better today, and we got things to fall our way. But we're we're back to back to uh, zeros on the board. And it's gonna be a new game, and we just got to keep getting better. Coach, you kind of talked about it. Uh, Would you talk about a good, clean start to the game? How important is your forecheck in terms of just as a catalyst to getting some positive momentum in Game Five and putting yourself in a chance to prolong the series some more? Yeah, that's really important. You know, because it, it gets us gets us going, it gets us on our toes, gets us skating, gets us away from our net, keeps us away from our net, keeps the, the puck out of their hands. So that's all that stuff is important. It's things that we've we've been trying to focus on all series, but um, really haven't been able to do it for long stretches. So I thought we stayed with it today. 
Um, you know, I don't think they were at their best. They've been better in the other games, and they're certainly going to be at their best next time out. Um, you know, let's be honest, this was an easy one for us, frankly. You know, it's, uh, it's not easy in the sense that there's a lot of mental hurdles for our guys to deal with. But this is a game we absolutely should win. You know, we just needed to get a good start and make it clear to them that we wanted to play today and we wanted to compete. And, um, you know, it's pretty easy for them to just look, look beyond this one and get ready for the next one, which I'm, you know, fully expecting they're going to do. Did you uh, have a one-on-one -on -one chat at all yesterday or the day before with uh, Bebo? Yeah, a little bit. Not, nothing too ex uh, extensive. You know, uh, Piero spent a lot of time with him as he always does, but had a, a definitely had a little bit of a chat and you know with uh, with Beebs when he and I cross paths. We usually uh, uh, speak for a few moment, a few moments, and you know I, I was confident that Piero could get him to settle down. But more importantly, he was just confident in in Antoine. You know, to be able to. Uh, to, to settle down himself and rely on his experience that he's had not only in this playoffs but previous. And, you know, I, I had full confidence that he was going to play real well today. So it was good to see the guys compete in front of him. We didn't give up a whole lot, uh, but he was really solid in making sure that nothing bad went in. With that, giving up 18 shots, will you go to the same 11 forward 7D on Sunday? Uh, no, no decisions on that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't assume that just because things went well for us today. It's a whole new game, and you know, we'll we'll talk about where we're at and, and uh, reassess from there. We'll see how the captain's situation is like. And we have a lot of other things happening there. So um, you know, we'll make those decisions uh, for Sunday. How much of a factor is Josh Levo's willingness to hang in where he did to get the goal he got here tonight and perhaps being a factor in the series given the way they like to play the game? Yeah, that was big. We, we, we've been talking a lot about having a presence at the net um, and having multiple people there. And uh, but but Belize hung out in front of the net, and that's where we've we've had him through the playoffs. And it was a long shift for him. He probably would like to maybe change a little bit earlier. But sometimes when you got a player like that, that to me has been our most consistent guy all through the this series and, and for most of the playoffs, uh, he hung out hung out a little longer than I'd like him to. But he was pretty committed to making sure that um, that we we took advantage of that power play. So you know, credit to him for sticking with it, and, and nice to see him rewarded. How's Andreas Johnson's health? Any update on how he's doing? Yeah, he's coming along. I've, I've uh, seen him a little bit. He's, he's, we're taking it pretty slowly with him. He's not going to be available for this series, certainly.